For this tutorial, you need to install this font. I'll leave a link to download it in the description below, so do check it out. Take note, don't open GIMP until you've finished installing the font. After finishing installing the font, open up GIMP with the project file, which can also be downloaded from the link in the description below. This is the project file in GIMP. And as a side note, I am using uh, 2.8.10 and to show the guides go to view show guides this will give you a good idea of where to position your text so that it doesn't look out of place or anything so as a heads up the area enclosed by by this guides here is your safe area which means that this area can be showed in all devices this area is the area that's enclosed that, that can be showed uh, in tablets and the full width of this banner is the maximum size of your channel banner so now that that's out of the way, we will edit this text over here, your channel description, uh, which is can be changed by this top left layer group. Click on this triangle to show the layers and click on the text layer. Go to your text tool, click once and just delete the whole thing and type in what you want. And if your text box looks out of place, use the move tool and choose move active layer and move it to where you want. You can move it uh, by clicking or dragging or by using arrow keys. Okay, so now moving on to these uh, layers here, you go to the bottom left layer group to change it. And as usual, hit on item 1, uh, this layer, and go to your text tool, and change it. And as usual, if it doesn't fit, you can use the move tool to adjust it. And do the same thing for item 3 and 4. Now these are done, so we can uh, we can collapse all the layer groups and what's next is this logo in the middle go to circle and rings layer group expand it and you see this layer replaced with your own uh, basically you want to delete this layer and I'm assuming that you've already created your own uh, preferably circle logo so if you have that already, go to File, Open as Layers and you can basically import that into your banner and scale it down if it's too big, which is clearly the case here. Uh, choose Keep Aspect and scale it down like so. And you can change the blending mode to green merge uh, to make it interact with its surroundings and give it a nicer look. And now that that is done, 
we can move on to this text here which is the more challenging part of the tutorial here um, which is corresponding to this uh, lab text layer expand it and you see this layer replaced with own text um, what you want to do is delete this layer and you have to create the text from, from scratch um, game doesn't support uh, layer effects so you have to manually do it by yourself so go to your text tool uh, choose a size of um, around 130 and a color um, set it to this HTML notation FFCD00 hit OK and choose a line spacing of minus 5 and click once and type in what you need okay now go to your move tool and position it in the middle like so and next you want to create the gloss effect things so you want to right click this layer and choose alpha to selection click your new layer and using a rectangle selection tool choose intersect as your mode and drag it across the width of the text like so hit enter and go to your paint bucket tool swap white to the foreground color click once in selection to fill it and choose your blend mode as overlay select none now we are not quite done yet so we'll go to we'll alpha to selection this text layer again and create another layer on top of it which will be the shadow thing I guess and with the same settings for the rectangle selection tool drag it across again hit enter choose your blend tool reset the color to black and white and choose the gradient preset to FG to transparent and shrug it down vertically now you can get a straight shrug like this um, by holding down the command key command or control key as you drag downwards so you get a perfectly straight uh, blend and change the blending mode to overlay there we go select none now this text is missing a drop shadow so we'll do that right now alpha to selection the text layer again create a new layer below uh, your text layer name it shadow if you wish and go to your paint bucket tool and click once within the selection select none there's nothing that uh, that's going on here because it's behind this text over here so we will go to filters blur Gaussian blur and we'll change it to around 20 um, let me try to locate it there we go around 20 will be fine and this gives it a very nice drop shadow and basically do the same thing for your right text once you have finished editing your right text you want to flatten everything, merge all the layers down together by right-clicking any of the layers and choosing flatten image and to export it, go to file, export or command E for a shortcut and give it any name you want and be sure to choose .jpg as your format because it takes up less space than .png and makes it um, compatible with uh, other YouTube 
uploading system and that's basically the end of the tutorial enjoy a new channel banner and thanks for watching if this helped give it a like and perhaps subscribe for more projects like these see you in the next tutorial